Hello interwebs, you're watching Mr. E, and today we are learning about the nonpolar amino acids. Glycine has hydrogen, alanine has a methyl R group, valine has an isopropyl, it's a V, isoleucine has an isobutyl R group, isoleucine short ILE is a secbutyl, methionine has three carbons and a sulfur and phenylalanine like alanine with phenyl tryptophan short TRP has two rings and proline has three carbons stuck to NH2 arm Today we will memorize the nonpolar amino acids. Down on the bottom I have the short version of each of the names of each of these amino acids. I've highlighted tryptophan and isoleucine because all you need to do is remember the first three letters of the amino acid and that will be its shorthand, except for tryptophan and isoleucine. So amino acids are the essential polypeptides for proteins in our body. And every single amino acid consists of an amino group, a carboxyl group, but they each have different R groups. And that's what detem determines their properties. So oftentimes you'll see amino acids listed like this here to the left. But actually, um, it can ex exist in different states. So the hydrogen, for example, can attach to this amino group, this nitrogen, to create this ion here. And uh, this proton on the car carboxyl group actually a lot oftentimes leaves um, that part of the amino acid creating this group right here. So these are actually equivalent, but they're just different states of the amino acid in nature. Now because amino acids all have this top part here, this amino group and this carboxylic group, for short, for example, we have glycine. Instead of writing out this top part over and over and over again, we just define it or write out the R group which is the only different part. So here we have, for the R group of glycine, it is just a hydrogen. Now going over the nonpolar amino acids then, glycine has the hydrogen R group, alanine has a methyl, it's called a methyl, it's one carbon. Now it has three carbons, it's propyl. And because it's connected from the middle, it's isopropyl. Valine has an isopropyl group. And that kind of, if you look it upside down, that just looks like a V, V for valine, isopropyl. Isoleucine kind of looks like a Y, you see that? And that is four carbons, is butyl. And its configuration is in the isobutyl configuration. So leucine's R group is isobutyl. Now this is kind of weird because isoleucine doesn't have the isobutyl R group. Isoleucine has four carbons, so it's still a butyl. But because it's connected here on this second carbon and it's a chain, it's called secbutyl. This is a secbutyl configuration. Moving on, we have methionine. And um, 
the way I remember this R group is it has three carbons and a sulfur. None of the other amino acids have three carbons and one sulfur, and that's it. Okay. Phenylalanine, if you'll notice, looks a lot like alanine, but one of its hydrogens is replaced with a phenyl group, hence phenylalanine. That is also a nonpolar amino acid. Tryptophan seems pretty complicated, but it's the only amino acid with two rings in it. One ring, two rings. And you'll notice here that the shorthand here is different from the first three letters, so I highlighted it. Short for tryptophan is TRP instead of TRY. It's TRP, tryptophan. And the last one is proline. And this one's kind of interesting because this messes up the tertiary structure sometimes of um, the protein because what happens is it's connected to the amino group and the carboxylic group up, up here, it's connected twice, and we'll, we'll go over that in a second. But it has three carbons and it's stuck to the uh, NH2 arm. So if you remember how amino acids look like, they have an amino side and a carboxylic acid side okay, with the R group. Now most of them look like this. The only one I want to point out is proline. If you'll notice, these three carbons go ahead and they link back into this amino acid side. And that creates a kink, usually, in your peptide chain. It's very kinky. So there you have it. Those are your nonpolar amino acids. Review one more time. We have glycine has a hydrogen. Alanine has a methyl group, methyl. Three carbons is propyl. Phalene has an isopropyl. Four carbons is butyl. Okay. Leucine has isobutyl. Isoleucine has secbutyl. Methionine has three carbons and a sulfur. Phenylalanine is like alanine, but has a, it's called a phenyl group. Tryptophan has two rings, and proline links back to that nitrogen in the amino acid side. Okay, those are your nonpolar amino acids. So there you have it, the nonpolar amino acids. If you want the MP3 of the song, go ahead and shoot me an email at mr.etutor at gmail.com. It's going to be provided in the links down below. Uh, and I'll send that mp3 to you for the low price of free. If you want to learn about other things, um, I do all the sciences and math, uh, go ahead and shoot me an email. Maybe we can work together. So go ahead and I'll see you next time, interwebs.